I have a message for Joe Biden and Beto O'Rourke. If you want to take everyone's AR-15 in America, why don't you swing by my office in Washington, D.C. and start with this one. Come and take it. That was Representative Ken Buck of Colorado acting like a crazy person while making threats against Joe Biden and Beto O'Rourke. Why don't you just come and take it? Wow. No, this guy is, is an elected official, by the way. <laughs> I mean, that's insane. Complete and utter insanity. Uh, it's it's a childish response, right? So, look, I guess this is in response to Beto O'Rourke saying, oh, yeah, let's take the AR-15s. Let's get them off the street. Uh, and Joe Biden also being in favor of gun control. And guess what? Also, Bernie Sanders in favor of gun control. They all have, what, D minus to F ratings for the NRA? Uh, and so this guy's like, oh, no, no. No, if you want to actually pass laws, you know, to keep uh, dangerous weapons off the street, well, then I have no real argument of why I need to keep this weapon, so I'm going to threaten to shoot you instead, you know, if you if you try to come to take it. What is this, Die Hard? What is this, the, 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 the Wild Wild West? Besides... Uh, you're not going to be going against Beto O'Rourke. No, you'd be going against police officers. I mean, in in the insane case, right? Because this would never happen. Of there was gun confiscation, right? This is this is a Republican either nightmare or wet dream. I can't figure out which, right? Because half of them are like, oh yeah, get to come try it. Yeah, I can't wait. Well, you're going to go up against police officers. Police officers that you're like. We should give them tanks. That's the same Republicans that are like, I can't wait to use my AR-15 to fight against the government. And by the way, let's give the government unlimited funding for the military and unlimited funding for the police force. I, I mean, does that not make sense? But look, let's be honest. The, half of that Republican fantasy is, well, of course the cops and the military are going to be on our side. Look, uh, I don't know. Uh -huh. That is kind of scary when you think about it, uh, because like there are white right wing groups uh, and white supremacist groups that have infiltrated the military and police forces. So I don't know. Right. OK. Anyway, um, nonetheless. From a practical standpoint. To drop a little gun knowledge on you, right? An Air 15 is terrible in close quarters. You'd actually be better off with a shotgun. That way, you'd have a larger spread, and your shots wouldn't go through walls as much, right? Like, this would go through, like, especially if it was, uh, never mind. <laughs> Let's just say that if you miss, your bullet is going to go through several walls and probably hurt or kill anyone on the other side of those walls, maybe even your colleagues. It's such a monumentally stupid idea. I mean, why would you think that? This is why we advocate for gun control. Morons like Ken Buck. Idiots. Now, what's hilarious, again, this is a hypocrisy, right? So now, Ken Buck, obviously, what you just saw it, right, made a threat against Beto O'Rourke and Joe Biden, two politicians, right? Just the day before, uh, Buck scolded Chuck Schumer. Now, Chuck Schumer was making a speech, and he was talking about reproductive rights, right? Uh, so he's talking about and what's protected uh, in the Constitution as privacy rights is the right to abortion. Uh, and so these conservative justices, Schumer was saying, hey, you better not touch that. That's a right. Uh, in fact, here are his, uh, well, kind of his exact words. And they're taking away fundamental rights. I want to tell you, Gorsuch. I want to tell you, Kavanaugh. You have released the whirlwind. And you will pay the price. You won't know what hit you if you go forward with these awful decisions. All right. So, look, that was uh, probably the most lively I've ever seen Chuck Schumer, by the way. Normally, he's like low energy, you know, uh, barely any fight. To no, at that time, the most energized I've ever seen Chuck Schumer. Insane, right? 
insane. Uh, never seen it before. Never. Uh, but look, notice how he said it will reap the whirlwind, right? Well, that's actually what Brett Kavanaugh had said. The using Kavanaugh's own words against him. Now, what did Ken Buck have to say about this? Getting back to his hypocrisy, he said, March 5th, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer's threatening words targeted at two Supreme Court justices are not only inappropriate, but dangerous. This is a new low for the Democratic Party. The same guy who just threatened Beto O'Rourke and Joe Biden would was, was essentially come and take it with the inference that if you try, I'm going to shoot you with it. I, mm, I, I mean, come on, guys. They, they've got no self-awareness. And look, not only that, right? Going back to the practical points of it for just a second longer. Uh, Ken Buck failed gun safety courses. Look, uh, this was pointed out by Ruben Gallego, uh, who's a veteran of the Iraq war. He says, quote, you literally flagged the cameraman. First rule of weapons handling, treat every weapon as if it were loaded. Second rule, never point the weapon at anything you don't intend to shoot. Now, look, you can't actually have loaded weapons uh, in Washington, D.C., especially in your on Capitol Hill, right? So... Very, very likely that it's not even loaded, but you must, as he points out, and I can back this up because I've worked uh, a couple of summers at the shooting club, right? You're supposed to treat every weapon as if it is loaded and ready to fire and dangerous, right? He did not. <laughs> I mean, look, they were kind of big on uh, gun safety, right? Uh, there, which apparently Ken Buck is not. Not good on uh, gun safety at all. So this got a lot of great response on social media. I want to share a couple of tweets. Uh, John Fugosane says, Trump, Ken Buck, and the NRA remind you that we've got mental illness problem, not an AR-15 problem. Oh, and the mentally ill should totally be able to buy AR-15s. That, uh, that is the literal hypocrisy from congressional Republicans. Uh, Marie Connors. Uh, no, let's get to that later on because that's a good one. Um, Brian Flagg of the United States says, violating one of the four main gun safety rules to own the libs. Mm, indeed. Uh, and then finally, this is this is the best one. Um, Murray Connor says, I don't know how Ken Buck felt when he first bought that AR-15, but I remember getting my first strap on and it must be something like that. <laughs> nice hey guys hopefully you enjoyed that free video now i'm gonna have to ask you a favor between the uh, demonetization and the youtube algorithm messing around with view counts etc we're having a hard time adjusting to the new youtube reality which is where you guys come in see we have a patreon patreon.com slash tyt nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.